Here we go. A little routine that you can do with two or three or four or five people who want to go and do a little bit of sailing on their own. It's called a follow on. So if you have the wind coming down the board, find yourself a windward mark, find yourself a leeward mark. And with some creative thinking, you can, with, let's say for example, we have four boats, get themselves going in a little line, going on a little reach to your leeward mark, as close as they can be. Not, not boat lengths between each other, but as close as you can be. You're not allowed to overlap the guy in front of you. You're gonna practice a mark rounding. This can be quite challenging, but you do have to get people to realise they have to, if they, they, one might lead you off in one direction and then turn round and everybody has to be in the right place as the leader is slowing down, coming to this position and then they all accelerate together to go around the mark. And that means you make yourself the best mark rounding you can. Ideally, you might decide if you have a, a weaker member that you, you set him off first, maybe the first two are, weak, are weaker sailors, set them off first and second and maybe your strongest sailors you set third and fourth, and you start racing and do whatever you want to do to get around your top mark. It, like, it creates loads of situations. You get sort of the guy who's coming around this mark in fourth is desperate to try and, um, to try and pass the guys in front, so he tacks off early. In tacking off early, he, uh, he suddenly finds the guys ahead of them, ahead of, ahead of, ahead of, and they've, 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 they've pulled out on him rather than him being patient and waiting for his moment when the shift comes in that he can tag. Okay? By the way, they go to the windward mark, they make their best bear away they can, and I guess the good, the better guys might make a, a more tactical bear away, the worst guys might make a worse bear away, and they race their heart out to the leeward mark, and you'll get lots of, you know, mark situations with overlaps as you approach the leeward mark, and the guys who are smart may not try and overtake the boat on the inside. Though they, may, they may decide that actually it's better to not be in this position where you, you're not going to break the overlap, but it's better to be directly behind them, ready to make a better rounding. Because the score in this thing isn't getting to the mark, it's actually making a great rounding. So if you made a poor rounding and get to here, you would be scored the guy on the inside the first position okay so it's all about the rounding it's all about the tactical decisions it's about helping each other and what you find is because the weaker guys are going first they have so much more time to watch and study the faster guys they have more time for the good guys to say hey sit the boat a bit flatter pull a bit more cunningham on use a bit more kicker whatever it might be and and at the same time, as the race finishes and you just, you know, you pause for a moment, the good guy could say to the weaker guy, hey, you know, if you'd held on a bit longer and tacked later, or if you decided to duck me when I was on starboard, you'd have led at the windward mark. All those sort of scenarios are there shared between the group to make the group just get better and better. So we call this a windward leeward follow on. But you just, like I say, I remind you again, it's not finishing in a snotty heap somewhere down here. It's trying to make the best round you can at the leeward mark because that will help you in a race. And with just four or three of you, you know, you'll experience a short course like this. It'll feel like you're in the middle of a fleet of 95 boats because it really accentuates the difficulties. And like I say, you could score it in different ways. If you have two weaker guys, one could go first, first time, and then the guy who was second in the first one could go first next time. And your two stronger guys, maybe, maybe one, one that starts third one time and the next one starts third the next time and they can swap between them and you can do yourself a score of a, of a, of a you know a gold fleet and a silver fleet scores at the end of the end of the scenario you'll you can do four eight whatever number of races you want to do to make sure you've had an even number of chances of being in first or second or third or fourth or whatever and you've got yourself a little mini regatta with nobody else but a windward mark a leeward mark and somebody who's got a big enough mouth to start the ball rolling the windward leeward follow-on